People, here we are. Time to redo the heating system again. Um, so, I'm going to drain this, dismantle it. I've got a lot of parts that I want to reuse, so I'll need to desolder them. Um, and then, actually, I, wonder if I should desolder them first. Anyway, so I'm going to start tearing this thing apart and putting it back together. And uh, going to get it done today. And now. The moment you've all been waiting for. But first, preaching. So, I don't know if you can see the window, but it's dark outside. This was an all-day project. And it really only needed to be a couple-hour project. And here's why. Um, I reused fittings. So, I honestly spent four or five hours taking plumbing apart, wiping out the inside, cleaning all the fittings off, getting them ready to use, trying to fit lengths of pipe. If you buy new pipe and buy new fittings, this would be way faster. However, I managed to do this entire job without buying a single part because I reused fittings. So it's toss up, you know? Um, right now I have propane as backup to my, wood, uh, my pellet boiler. I haven't tested it yet, I'm getting ready to turn it on. So, uh, let's see what happens. So, power to the controller. The uh, propane has power. I should probably turn the propane on. Okay. So, that's on. Um, let's see. The fastest way is probably to turn on a thermostat. So I'm going to turn on a thermostat and then come back. So I'll just leave it on. Okay, here we go. Thermostat's on. Pumping fluid. This is shut. This is shut. This just kicked on. Holy crap, that's exciting. So it's going to try and fire, but there's no propane, so it's going to probably fail. Um, but maybe it starts, I don't know, we'll see. In temperature, 57 degrees. Out temperature, 115. you got to be kidding me. This thing is actually firing. No kidding. So the propane's there, and it's on, and it's heating the zone. Now, what I want to find out is what happens when the hot water from the garage gets here. That's what we're going to find out. That's what's so exciting. Um, I bet when the in temperature... So that's good to know. Look at that. So that only took what? I can actually calculate that in the video. The hot water from the garage is now here. Just like that. Wow, that's awesome. So that was like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Now the tankless is modulating down because the water is hot coming in. And eventually it should get to a point where it can't modulate any lower and it just cuts, cuts off, cuts out. So it's 108 coming in. When I went out there, the boiler was off, so it's, it's going to send pretty cold water in the beginning. Look at that. 111 coming in. Out 124. 2.1 gallons per minute. So when that in gets up to 120, I, I've been banking on this tankless shutting off. Taking a long time. So it's hovering about 110, which I think is what temperature the boiler was at. So if I wanted to, well, I'll just wait. I could always set it down, set the temperature down to 117. I could also just shut the tankless off. 
And then when I wanted, oh, you know, I'm going away, click. Oh, man, is that nice. All right, so while I'm waiting for this, let me show you what's going on here. Basically, I have my return water, which goes back to the garage. But I teed it off and put a valve so that I can send it back to here, the inlet on the tankless. Let's say something happens to these lines. Oh, well, let's not drop the camera in the bucket of water. Let's say something happens to these lines outside. They freeze, they get ripped up, the, let's say the boiler doesn't work. Any number of things, all I have to do is shut these, open this, and this tankless can heat the house all on its own. Completely independent. <clears throat> so that's what this valve's for. This valve down here is in case I need to change this tankless out, take it out of the system. All I have to do is close these two valves, open this, and the garage can heat the house. Now if I hadn't put this in, the garage would have to go through here in order to get to the house, and I didn't want that. I wanted a bypass, and so I put in this bypass. Now I probably could have done this sort of thing with uh, check valves, or rather I probably could have put some check valves in and I didn't, but <clears throat> anyway. So that's the idea there. Um, so now it is, the garage is sending 108 degree water, annoyingly enough. Um, yesterday it was sending 140. So the, the boilers is just basically cold. Um, so if I, but let's test this. So if I set this down to 108, 106 degrees, then this shuts off. does its cool down cycle to clean, uh, to exhaust the combustion chamber full of any gases and then shuts off. So now the garage is pumping hot water to the house and this thing is standing by ready to heat the house in case anything happens. I am so excited. It's been such a long day. Um, yeah, man, that's awesome. So awesome. So now I still get information. In at 108, out at 108, 2.1 gallons per minute. What's cool is that I can check this pump's performance. So on low, it's 2.1, medium, especially if you play with the wrong pump. Low is 2.1, medium, 2.4, high, Takes a little while to catch up here. Huh. It's cool. Alright, I'm gonna put down a low. I'm gonna put a little more water in the system. I can also now check the pressure of the system right here because I put in a pressure gauge. I also put in an expansion tank so that this can run as its own system. Man am I psyched! So cool. Alright, that's enough so cool video. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna be one of those guys now. Remember to click subscribe, click like if you like the video. Thanks for watching.